So if you remember, the Jets moved down one spot with the Vikings last night to have J.J. McCarthy trade up uh, for, for the Vikings trade up to get J.J. McCarthy. They got a fifth round pick for their effort. They just flipped that pick to the Carolina Panthers to pop up from 72 to 65 and start the third round with a trade tonight. So we'll find out what the Jets are up to in a sec. Fans now joining us on stage, representing the six service branches, Tech Sergeant Philippe Jackson, United States Air Force, Staff Sergeant Mark Medlock, United States Army, LS-1 Jonathan Martin, United States Navy, Gunnery Sergeant Corey Adams, United States Marine Corps, Second Lieutenant William Picard, United States Space Force, and SK-1 T. Amber Curley, United States Coast Guard. Braylon Edwards is about to be introduced to the crowd. We all know he had some meritorious times at the University of Michigan before he became a brown bear and, of course, New York Jet. The Jet at 72nd overall, moving up to 65 overall. Olu Fashionu was their choice 11th overall last night at offensive line to try and protect Aaron Rodgers. Who do you think they're, they're spotting that they wanted to jump the line here, DJ? Well, we're looking at wide receivers with them. We thought maybe there was a chance. I gave him Roba Dunze in, in the mock draft. So when you look at receivers that are left there, Malachi Crowley's the only one left in my top 50. Then you have uh, Roman Wilson from Michigan. You've got Troy Franklin from Oregon. So, again, all these receivers, different styles, different flavors. What are they looking to add to their receiver room? Here's Braylon. Good to see him. Yes, sir. Detroit, we in the building. Born and raised in Detroit, so it's glad to see my city doing so good. Also, shout out to University of Michigan, go blue. Now it's time to get on the board. Go blue, you know what time it is. You know what time it is. J-E-T-S. The Carolina Panthers have traded the 65th pick to the New York Jets. With the 65th pick in the 2024 draft, the New York Jets select Malachi Corley, wide receiver out of Western Kentucky. Let's go, Jets! This top 50 player, he's compact, there's a lot of quick hitters, and that's not my opinion with the Yak King. That is his actual Twitter bio. He references himself as the Yak King, and he is exceptional after the catch. You want production? Listen to this numbers. Over the last two years, he only trails Roma Dunze, Malik Neighbors, and Marvin Harrison Jr. in terms of receiving yards. That's good company to keep. And here he is after the catch. He does not want to go on the ground. He's like a, I would say, a sawed-off Debo Samuel. He's a smaller, more compact version. But his strength on contact when guys try and tackle him is pretty ridiculous, CD. It certainly is, and he catches a lot of his passes underneath. 5.5 average depth of target. And so then takes it long, throw short, go long. 
Joel, one of the things I liked about him, he reminded me of Golden Tate. Yes, he's a sawed-off Debo Samuel in, 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 in physique and stature, but in playing style, Golden Tate every year, yards after the catch, near the top of the leaderboard. And here's what Aaron Rodgers is reacting to, is the creativeness that you can have now from a play design perspective, because he can stretch the field by holding defenders at the line of scrimmage because of what you can do in the screen game, throwing it to him in those advantage throws, meaning, hey, the ratios are there, you don't have to run the ball, you can just flip it out into the slot, and he can get that yak you were talking about. Think about Randall Cobb and his prime, how Aaron Rodgers used him. This is a carbon copy. So, so he might as well get with Randall and yeah, just hang have an out opportunity. and be tutored like mad and be the next guy.